Hi there, YouTubers. I'm going to try to explain why in my RV I use a series 6 volt instead of a parallel 12 volts. Now, the first thing that got me thinking, gee, I want to use 12 volts because I tried this and it, it wasn't very good, was I wanted to um, essentially uh, double my amp hours. So um, you can see right here, uh, you have, uh, let's say, uh, in this case, example, 210 amp hours, and then you add the two together, and you end up with the 420 amp hours. So what amp hours means, to somebody who doesn't know, is how many amps uh, these batteries put out in an hour. So this battery here, and I, I don't know how much truth there is to this, but 210 amps in one hour. All right, that's that's what it'll put out. So, uh, and the other way around is, let's say you draw one amp from it, it should last 210 hours, right? So, being an RV person, I really thought that I needed like all these amps. Well, you do if you're running an inverter all the time. Uh, inverters are really inefficient. They uh, you you lose something like 30 percent. So. That you uh, run your inverter on your batteries, it's it's going to kill your batteries quickly. Other th other things too that kill your batteries quickly are lights. So what I did is I went on eBay and uh, I pulled the light. Like my RV's got like three different lights in it, so I pulled the lights, <coughs> three different lights out of the RV, and then I just um, I looked on the light and there's a little number on the light. Then I looked in eBay for that number equivalent LED light, and then I replaced all my lights in my RV with LED. Now LED um, draws a lot less than a normal light. Like I would think about 12 LEDs would run the same power as one light bulb. So if you want to help yourself do that first. I try not to run the inverter so much. Uh, I run the uh, generator as much as I can whenever I can and I use solar to charge my batteries. But this this was the main reason that I originally went with the uh, parallel 12 volt batteries that I wanted to double my amp hours. But I'm never going to draw that much current, right? It's just a lot of current. And um, I'm going to tell you in a second what happened. So here you can see when you put your two 6 volts in, in series that the amp hours you, they don't sum up they stay the same right because no matter what that amount of current can only flow through that battery like you can't push more than that much current through there without destroying the battery and you probably boil it so you saw in my configuration in my RV I had this cable going across here connecting these two and then it left me with 12 volts on the end it's just like here 12 volts on the end right no problem. Now, when you're running your lights, you're getting, uh, it's more than 12 volts, all right? It's like 13 and a half. But just for simplicity, to keep this simple, right? So what we have is um, essentially you have one battery here, right? And there's your three cells. So I just represented those three cells right here. And then you have another battery here. And these, these batteries right here are connected in series so that we end up with 12 volts on the outside. Okay, so uh, we have 12 volts overall. What is really 13.5? So they run your lights. Here too, we have 12 volts because we got 12 volts and 12 volts. So we have the two 12 volt systems running nicely and they're putting out 12 volts running your lights now I'm not even going to talk about the charging system because we know if these batteries get low when we put a charger on it then the the batteries charge back up that's what we really want well here's where the problem lies let's suppose for example in the um, a parallel configuration here which I found out the hard way right so if you got um, a parallel configuration 
and one battery drops to let's say or one cell drops to one volt that just keeping it simple so it drops to one volt and then we shut off our lights we disconnect with the main we disconnect the, the main uh, switch in the RV so now there's no power can come out of your batteries now we just charged up generator just shut off or whatever you just disconnect from the site or whatever so now unknown to you you've got this one volt cell usually it's probably closer to zero but let's say one volt so now instead of this battery being 12 volts right it's going to be 11 volts right so now the current there's going to be current here flowing so this this current is going to flow from the 12 volt battery to right it's all going to flow into the 11 volt battery and it does that because this is a higher potential than the 11 volts so it's going to always try to balance out however this cell is dead this cell is never going to let it charge up to 2 volts so it's going to stay at 1 volt and this this now becomes the load just like your light was a load now this is a load so this this one volt becomes a huge problem because you don't know it but while your RV is sitting there for a week or two unplugged and disconnected this one volt and that's just one cell I mean this usually happens on two or three at a time or whatever like on on this many cells so this one volt is killing all of the batteries because then this 12 volts is going to decrease try to decrease to 11 volts trying to charge this 11 volt side up to 12 volts and never going to happen and this is never going to be 2 volts so it's always going to try to get this balanced out and never going to happen right so then you're going to get frustrated because you just unplugged your RV a week ago and guess what you got no power and you don't know why right and you and you've done everything you can do this is really hard on this battery okay so this battery is dying all the time trying to keep this battery alive and then eventually you're going to blow a cell in this battery okay so then you're going to have a real problem I switched over to this system right here and I love it so I know because I switched all my lights to LED and I can still use my inverter and watch TV and stuff, right? I've never run out of uh, battery, so um, I, I don't know what the issue is because you know these batteries are not 210 amp hours, right? These are massive batteries. So here again, we have the lights, right? And we're going to disconnect our battery from our lights. So with the main disconnect, and let's suppose one of these cells decides to go to one volt okay so now what happens is this cell because there's no current flow cannot kill the other cells okay so the only real problem you get here right is the voltage let's say drops to 11 volts but I'm not I'm not going to lose a battery like this isn't going to die while well, it's sitting there for a couple of weeks. It's just going to charge to 11 volts and sit there. At worst, um, this dead cell may reduce the current flow going through the battery, giving me less amp hours. I haven't seen that yet. I would think that the 11 volts would cause less current and not really the cell because these cells, when they go, they tend to short more than open and uh, they short out so that means that there wouldn't be a cell here so you would get like 10 volts but you would get a good amount of current not the full current because you don't have all the cells and you got less voltage so anyway I hope this helps people understand why I went to uh, the series 6 volt system to get 12 volts in my RV and they charge up just fine and with the solar power generator or campsite so there's there's no issues there um, with these particular batteries I've 
during the summer I might check them once or twice to see if the liquid's up and I haven't had a problem yet the liquid seems to stay up just fine it's over the winter when you're charged leave, leaving them on a triple charge then they tend to empty out and it becomes like something you gotta keep your eye on because if they get too low you're gonna damage your cells and then the people that you bought it from uh, may not honor the warranty but these guys here that I go to are just awesome so I hope this helps and um, remember have fun RVing and take care of your batteries and they'll take care of you bye bye for now